my name is Khadija and I will briefly introduce you to the project I worked on under Dr. Tse's supervision, validation of a portable game controller to assess peak expiratory flow against conventional spirometry in children. Given the International Asthma Guidelines recommendations and the underutilization of peak expiratory flow or PEEF monitoring in asthma management, especially in children, we developed a serious game. So as you can see, the participant blows forcefully in the game controller to control the game, and at the end of the game, the P values appear for the participant. In our study, we validated the game controller compared to conventional spirometry. We conducted a multicentric study on 158 children aged 8 to 15 with a diagnosis or suspicion of asthma coming for a spirometry were excluded those with a diagnosis of cystic fibrosis, bronchopulmonary dysplasia, or other significant medical condition. Eligible and consenting participants first underwent their conventional spirometry, then played with a game controller, and finally filled a general health questionnaire along with a, an appreciation questionnaire. Our participants have a mean age of 10.9 years, 55.9% are male, and 88.6% are Caucasian. More details on the medication and atopic profiles can be found here. With the conventional spirometry, we established that our participants had a mean pulmonary function that was normal, with a mean forced vital capacity of 103.7% of predicted, a mean forced expiratory volume in one second of 99.6% of predicted, and the ratio between those uh, being of 83.6. Here you see a blend Altman plot. On the horizontal axis, we can see the mean between the PIF of the game controller and the PIF of the spirometry for a given participant, and on the vertical axis, we see the difference between those two values. The blue line represents the mean bias between the PIF of the game controller and of the spirometry, which is of minus 36.4 liters per minute. It is not of zero, which would indicate no difference between both methods, but this bias was expected and similar to validated peak flow meters. Here, the horizontal axis of the three graphs represent the PIF of the game controller. In graph A, we compare it with the PIF obtained by spirometry, in graph B with FEV1 of spirometry, and C uh, with the FEF2575 of spirometry. In all three graphs, we can see a linear correlation between the values of the game controller and of the spirometry. Finally, some key points. The game controller's reproducibility is very high, with 96.2%, despite the lack of coaching. The game um, had a very good appreciation, with 78.3% of participants saying they would use it at home. However, we had uh, limited data, so we were unable to evaluate the response to bronchodilator. And finally, future studies are necessary to evaluate the clinical implications of the game controller. Thank you.